So now let's work around with text alignment and line spacing options inside of Google Slides. So for that, I'm going to create a new slide. So let me just go over here and choose, let's say, for example, the title and two columns, just like this. So I'm just going to say uh, alignment right here. And I'm going to, let's say, for example, type in this is a paragraph, just like this. And I'm just going to copy and paste this around so that I have a bunch of text floating around, just like this, both for both of the columns right here. So now let us work around with the alignment. So by default, the alignment is left. So you can see that the text is arranged at the left side of the screen. So what I can do is I can go over here on the top and on the alignment option, you can see that I can center align it right here and I can right align it over here as well. The other option is justify, but it just seems like left alignment. That is what we're going to see in the paragraph right here. If I were to resize this out, let's say, for example, you can see that the alignment of the text is at the top portion. So I can go over here and if I were right now, what is happening is that it is selecting the top portion right here. If I were to click on middle, you can see that now it is in center alignment. And if I were to click on bottom, now it is on bottom alignment right here. So I can center it out and center it out all the way as well. So now let's go on towards the paragraph right, right here. So I'm going to go to left align and now let's go to center line. You can see that everything centers out. And if I were to go to right align, everything is right align. If I were to go to justify, it adds in space to balance everything out. So especially if there's long paragraph, you want to make it seem like it's balanced. You can see that this looks much more balanced compared to this one. But there may be odd number of spacing. So it is a good idea to actually expand this out. And now you can see that it is much more in balance. The little extra bit of spaces are not really noticeable. But right over here, you can see that the A right here is uh, has much more space compared to this one. But whereas in this one, there's a little bit of space added in automatically to make it seem much more balanced, which is very, very good visually. So now coming on to the line spacing option. So let me just go around and resize this out right here. I'm just going to resize this out as well. Keep it over here. So now what we can do is we can work around with line spacing by clicking on this. So by default, 1.15 align spacing is applied. But if I were to click on single, you can see that there's no line spacing. The, uh, the text are chunked out together. So if I were to go over here and increase out the line spacing, so let me just click on this one, not, not this one, sorry. This one, let me just go on this one. You can see that there's a bit of a line spacing added in. I can go over here, click on this one. There's more line spacing added in, just like that. I can also have double line spacing. So you can see that the space between the two lines is equal to the amount of text that you can keep in right there. So if I were to go over here, you can add in space before paragraph and add in space after paragraph. So if I were to go over here, uh, you can see that I have this one. I can go into uh, line spacing and I can remove space uh, after paragraph or add in as well to add in a bit of a space. Then you can even go to custom spacing. So right now the line spacing is two. You can also do three. And before, let's say for example, you wanna have around uh, 20 points of line spacing and after 20 points. So you can see that there's three line of spacing right here now. So this is the first line, then there's the two line, then there's this line right here. And similarly, there is 20 points of line below. And that is how uh, you can work around with text alignment and line spacing option to get the look you want in the uh, Google Slides. So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe 